आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स इन एस्टरडेज वेडियो लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द सिलेंड्रिकल वेसल सब्जेक्टेड टू द कंबाइन लोडिंग दैट कंबाइन लोडिंग वी हैव सीन फोर डिफरेंट स्ट्रेसेस लाइक द टेंजेंशियल स्ट्रेस इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए सरकम्परेंसियल स्ट्रेस और हुप स्ट्रेस सेकेंड इज ए लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेस थर्ड इज ए शेयर स्ट्रेस ड्यू टू द पाइप ऑफसेट एंड फोर्थ इज ए रिजल्ट स्ट्रेस वी हैव कवर दैट थिंग्स इन एस्टरडेज लेक्चर टुडे विल गोइंग ऑन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द हेड्स आर यूज इन द प्रेशर vessel or we can say the end closers it is also called as a end closers okay in the cylindrical pressure vessel are closed at ends by either flat heads or foam heads okay then see we will see the one by one types of the head in the unfired pressure vessel in the flat head see the flat heads or it is also called as a plates are the simplest type of the end closers use only the for a small diameter of the vessel if the there is a small diameter then we can use this type of the end flat head or plain head remember that okay simplest or only for the small diameter vessels second application of the flat head are also used as a manhole covers for the low pressure vessels and as a cover for the small openings if there is a small opening then also we can use the flat heads see the figure of the flat heads di is the di is the inner diameter of the vessel cell this is given in mm pi is the design pressure this is given in newton per mm square sigma all is the allowable thickness uh, sorry allowable tensile stress for the head this is also given in newton per mm square and c is the corrosion allowance okay then how to calculate the thickness the flat head is equal to 0.7 di into root of pi divided by sigma all and outside of that root plus c c is the corrosion allowance we are consider different corrosion allowance for the different heads okay this value is given in your problem statement or standard value is given as per the head types okay this is the first type you have to remember then second is a foam head okay foam head uh, are commonly used in the pressure vessel fabricated from the single circular plate by forming method okay it is made up uh, by forming methods okay fabricated from the single circular plate there are different types of the foam head first is divided into the five types plain foam head then second torus spherical dish head third is a semi elliptical dish head fourth is a hemi spherical head and fifth is a conical head okay remember uh, in the examination you will the, get the question on that theory bit different types of the foam heads okay remember that this five types of the foam heads then we will see the one by one first is a plain foam head plain foam head okay see the figure of the plain foam head we want to the calculate the thickness of the plain foam head how to calculate this thickness 
thickness is equal to 0.4 Ti root of Pi divided by sigma all and outside of that plus C. Okay. Then we will see the one by one. What is the Th? Th is the thickness of the form head. See that thickness of the plane form head. Okay. This is given in mm. Then Ric. Ric. This is given Ric. Ric is the inside corner radius. Inside corner radius. Remember that. What is the meaning of the Ric? Or it is also called as a knuckle radius in the project also we have seen how to calculate the RIC for the plane form head okay this value is given in mm and this value is always greater than or equal to 0.1 di remember that relation this value is always greater than or equal to 0.1 di di is the internal diameter of the pressure vessel okay then sf check that this is the sf sf is the straight flange length straight flange length this value is given in mm mm also uh, sf is equal to 3 th 3 th th means what thickness of the plane form head okay 3 3 times of the th into th 3 into th or we can say the 20 mm 20 mm whichever is larger this value is selected for the design of the plane form head and what is the advantages of the plane form head okay plane form head the minimum amount of a forming is required there is a minimum amount of the forming is required hence they are most economical most economical remember that okay then this is the one of the advantage of the plane form head plane form head okay then what is the disadvantage disadvantage of the plane form head is weakest of all form heads okay this is very weakest in the given form head different types of the form heads and where we can use or where is the application of the plane form head plane form head are used for the horizontal cylindrical storage vessel where at atmospheric pressure where we are made the vessels for atmospheric pressure uh, in the horizontal cylinder we can use the plane form head and second advantage are used for the bottom ends of the vertical cylindrical vessel where we will use bottom end of the vertical cylindrical vessel that rest on the concrete wall that rest on the concrete wall and the diameter of that not to exceed than 7 meter remember that this is very important this diameter of that concrete wall not exceed than the 7 meter 7 meter and this is the figure of the figure of the plane form head remember that the meaning of that ric sf th and di when you solving the numerical then also you should remember the how to calculate the thickness of the plane form head plane form head okay then second type is a torical Torispherical dish head. Torispherical dish head. Okay. It is used for the vertical or horizontal pressure vessel. Both pressure vessel we can use torispherical dish head. Okay. And this pressure range is from 0 0.1 Newton mm square to 1.5 Newton per mm square. In between that range, we can use only the torispherical dish head at high pressure, we can say. Okay, we'll see the figure of that first. See, this is the figure of the torispherical dish head. Okay, what is the meaning of TH again? Thickness of the torispherical dish head. 
डी आई इज द इनर डायमीटर ऑफ द वेसल सेल इनर डायमीटर ऑफ द वेसल सेल दिस इज गिवन इन द एम एम पी आई यू नो द पी आई मीन्स डिजाइन प्रेशर दिस इज गिवन इन न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर देन सिग्मा ऑल सिग्मा ऑल इज द अलोबल टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस दिस इज गिवन इन न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर एन इज द एपीसीएनसी ऑफ द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द वेल्डेड जॉइंट ओके आर सी हियर इज सी द क्राउन रेडियस इज गिवन दिस इज डिनोटेड बाय द आर सी आर सी इज द क्राउन रेडियस और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए डिश रेडियस डिश रेडियस दिस इज गिवन इन एम एम अगेन सी हियर इज ए स्मॉल आर आई सी रेडियस इज गिवन प्लस हेड ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन द आर आई सी मीनिंग ऑफ द आर आई सी इज द इन साइड कॉर्नर रेडियस इन साइड कॉर्नर रेडियस इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए नकल रेडियस दिस इज गिवन इन एम एम एंड दिस रेडियस शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स आर सी ओके वॉट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन आर आई सी एंड आर सी आर आई सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स आर सी ओके एंड बी इज द इन साइड डेप्थ ऑफ द डिश सी द इन साइड डेप्थ ऑफ द डिश इंटरनल डायमीटर वी हैव शोन फ्रॉम द सेंटर टू द इंटरनल सेल अप टू दैट दिस इन साइड डेप्थ ऑफ द डिश इज गिवन इन एम एम एंड एस एफ इज द स्ट्रेट फ्लेंच लेंथ दिस इज गिवन इन एम एम अगेन दिस रिलेशन इज गिवन फॉर द टोरिस्पेरिकल डिश हेड एस एफ इज इक्वल टू थ्री टी एच और ट्वेंटी एम एम विच यूर इज लार्जर ओके एंड वन मोर थिंग वी वॉन्ट टू द यूज हियर के एफ के एफ इज द वॉट वॉट इज द के एफ वेर के एफ स्ट्रेस इंटेंसीफिकेशन फैक्टर स्ट्रेस इंटेंसीफिकेशन फैक्टर वी आर कंसिडर फॉर सेपर साइड एंड यू गेटिंग द लार्जर वैल्यू दिस वैल्यू विल कैलकुलेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्ट्रेस इंटेंसीफिकेशन फैक्टर ओके दिस इज द टोरिस पेरिकल हेड देन वील सी द फॉर्म्यूली हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द थिकनेस ऑफ द टोरिस पेरिकल डिश हेड टी एच इज इक्वल टू के एफ इंटू पी आई इंटू आर सी डिवाइडेड बाय टू सिग्मा ऑल इंटू एन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू पी आई प्लस सी ओके वेर के एफ इज इक्वल टू ऑलरेडी आई हैव टोल्ड के एफ इज द स्ट्रेस इंटेंसीफिकेशन फैक्टर Yes, you have to check your uh, design, be safe or not, with the help of uh, that factors we are included in your formulas. Okay, for the safer side, we will get the more value than the th. That's why multiply by k up. K up is equal to one pi four in bracket three plus r c root of r c divided by r i c. Okay. आर सी डिवाइडेड बाय आर आई सी अगेन वी हैव सीन द रिलेशन इन बिटवीन द आर सी एंड आर आई सी आर आई सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स आर सी कैपिटल आर सी ओके क्राउन रेडियस ओके देन सी वील गेट अगेन वेन यू पुटिंग दैट वैल्यू इन दैट इक्वेशन देन यू विल गेट द अगेन के एफ इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन पुट इन द th value then finally we will get the thickness of the torospherical dish head th is equal to 0.885 pi into rc divided by sigma all into n minus 0.1 pi plus c c is the crown radius okay all of you getting then c again uh, we want to the calculate the some value with the help of that formula we will solve that uh, the equation we will get the different equations right how to calculate that value b is equal to we can write the rc minus ac we are using here pythagoras theorem you know the pythagoras how to use hypotenuse side is ac is there this triangle we are consider a b c triangle we are consider then there is a crown radius minus ac this side is vertical 
AC distance. Then again, what is the AC? We can write AC is equal to BC square plus AB square. Then we can write RC minus root of again uh, minus will take the outside. Then you will get the BC square plus AB square. Okay, inside the root. Then C. If you have solved, then again BC is equal to what? RC minus RIC. We can write BC is equal to RC minus RIC. And what is the AB? AB is equal to I can write here DI by 2 minus RIC bracket square. Then see the SF value is I already I have told 3 TH or 20 mm. Whichever is larger. Whichever is larger okay then volume of the fluid content within the torus pellicle dish head excluding straight flange portion vh we require that volume uh, to calculate the volume of the fluid in torus pellicle dish head with the help of vh is equal to 0 0.08467 di cube volume of that cell with the help of that formula what is the advantage of that uh, torospherical vessel? Torospherical dish head is stronger than the plain form head. We have seen the plain form head first type. Okay, in the form head, this again stronger than the plain form head. And drawback is local stresses are at to discontinued. Okay, what is mean by uh, local stresses? Again, there are two junctions, right? Junction between the crown radius and again knuckle radius. Crown radius and knuckle radius. There is a weakest section of that uh, head. And second is a junction between the knuckle radius and straight flange. Check that. There are two junctions. That's why these are weakest at that two section. This is the disadvantages or drawbacks of the uh, spherical fresh uh, head okay and where we can use that torus spherical head already I have told told it is used for the vertical or horizontal pressure vessel where you will get the pressure range 0 0.1 Newton per mm square to 1.5 Newton per mm square all of you getting yes then next is a third type what is, which is the third type semi elliptical dish head semi elliptical dish head the semi when we use the semi elliptical dish head or where is the application of that semi elliptical dish head the semi elliptical dish head are used for the pressure vessel the pressure is above or greater than 1.5 newton per mm square okay in the pressure vessel if you are getting the pressure is greater than 1.5 newton per mm square then you should use the semi elliptical head those having the pressure design of pressure vessel project they check the your pressure and as per that pressure we are using that different types of the heads okay we have choose on the basis of that value Okay, what is the inside pressure in the cylindrical vessel? Okay, remember that. Then see how to calculate the thickness again. Okay, there is a thickness is calculate. TH is equal to KF PI DI divided by 2 sigma all N minus 0 0.2 PI plus C. Okay, Kf is equal to again C, stress intensification factor is given different for the semi elliptical head. 1 by 6 into bracket, okay, 1 by 6 into bracket, 2 plus K square, K square, okay. The K1 is the normal, uh, normal stress intensification factor is there, uh, K1. K1 is the K1 is the ratio of the major axis to the minor axis. Generally, we are taken that value is a two as per the standard. 
okay major axis to the minor axis this ratio will take on the 2 means k1 value is a 2 then therefore you will get the new relation th is equal to pi di divided by 2 sigma all n minus 0 0.2 pi plus c this is the thickness of the semi elliptical head semi elliptical head okay all of you getting see the straight uh, here also we have seen already the straight flange length okay this sf value is 3th or 20 mm whichever is larger okay that value you have to choose okay all of you getting that yes then again you should uh, calculate for the this head RIC is equal to 0 0.1 di and SF value okay then what is the advantages of the semi elliptical dish head semi elliptical dish head are stronger than the plane form head and torus pedicle dish head because of the pressure is greater than 1.5 newton per mm square see the semi um, uh, sorry torus pedicle what is the pressure is given pressure range is given 0.1 to 1.5 but here is a point range is given greater than 1.5 newton per mm square that's why we want to use the strong head strong head and this are uh, stronger than the plane form head and torus pedicle dish head okay but what is the disadvantage the disadvantage of the torus uh, semi spherical semi elliptical head are more forming is required and hence forming uh, more forming is required means more cost again we required the forming cost is more forming cost is more this is the disadvantage okay i have told uh, already the application of this semi elliptical dish head are used where the pressure is greater than 1.5 newton per mm square all of you getting you should remember the formula as per the pressure you have to choose the one head okay next is a hemispherical head hemispherical head hemispherical head again here how to calculate the thickness here two value is required sf and th okay where we'll use the this semi uh, hemispherical head where is the application of that hemispherical head are used in the high pressure vessel high pressure vessel where is the pressure vessel is uh, pressure is high inside the pressure vessel there we are using the hemispherical head hemispherical head see again hemispherical head thickness is pi di divided by 4 sigma all n minus 0 0.4 pi plus c plus c again uh, you know that uh, the sf value is 3 th or 20 which you are ever is larger okay then volume how to calculate the volume of the fluid in hemispherical head excluding straight flange portion again same formula you have to use ph is equal to 0 0.262 di cube this is given in mm cube what is the advantage advantage it is the strongest strongest of all the form head they are free from uh, they are free from the discontinuities hence used in the high pressure vessel discontinuities okay means they are made there is no any discontinuity in the in that uh, semi elliptical and uh, see uh, before that we have seen the torus pedicle there are so many discontinuity but here is a no any discontinuity or no any joint that's why we are using this as a strongest strongest of all form heads okay what is the disadvantages again the amount of forging is required to more to produce the hemispherical shape is more okay resulting in more we require the more cost for the forging okay 
all of you require remember that the formula th is equal to in the hemispherical head hemispherical head okay sometimes in the examination you will get the separate question for the four marks hemispherical head then next head is a conical head next is a head is a conical head where will use the uh, conical head conical head are widely used as a bottom head as a bottom head to uh, facilitate removal or draining of the material if you have drain any material from the pressure vessel then we are use which head conical head conical head the semi the semi cone angle this angle is given 30 degree semi cone angle usually we are taken the 30 degree then how to calculate the thickness of the cell th is equal to pi di divided by in bracket 2 sigma all n minus pi bracket cold close into cos alpha plus c for this head again sf value is 3 th or 20 mm whichever is larger larger okay all of you getting the types of the head then attachment of the head of the cell okay there are different attachments are given for the heads heads are attached to the pressure vessel cell by welded joint or we can say the bolted joint we are using only two joints one is the welded joint and second is a bolted joint with the help of that we can attach the different head to the cells okay different varieties of the welded connections are used for the attachment of the cell okay we are using the different varieties of the welded connections okay here you have given seen in the figure attachment of the flat uh, flat head you have given the corner attachment some fillets are used some chompers are used okay here is a v-shape is used or groove shape is used attachment of the foam heads there are different heads we can replace or attach to the cell with the help of that given heads then we will see uh, today we will stop here in the next lecture we will see the numerical on the basis of the combined loading and different types of the heads okay remember the all the formulas for the next lecture we will solve the numerical sometimes in the examination you will get the question on that uh, combined loading and different types of the head this question will be asked numerical will be asked for the 12 marks 10 marks this is very important or sometimes theory will ask okay today we'll stop here thank you